Die Hauptsache, dass sie da sind. this year that has been enrolled, and the culture of Ukrainian borscht cookie. And I look at this uh, at this pot of borscht and think, oh my God, I don't have a time uh, for, for borscht eating. Uh, and then not if cooking, forget about it. Just <laughs> eating borscht will be fine. But I, I, I really like you to enjoy Ukrainian borscht. So stealing the names or stealing uh, the culture doesn't work in the 21st century as stealing the parts of the country uh, is, not, uh, is not the culture of the 21st century. You know, what's what the Russian, name of, uh, the Russian understanding of peacekeeping is to grab a piece of land and to try to keep it. So this is Russian peacekeeping. The same the Russians try to do with, uh, with the Borscht, uh, but uh, I'm sure they will fail. We are meeting today to celebrate this month's symbolic victory. On the 24th of February, Russia started a brutal war against Ukraine. On the 1st of July, the international organization UNESCO recognized the urgent need to safeguard the cultural heritage of Ukraine and inscribed the tradition of cooking the Ukrainian borscht on the UNESCO list. We need to continuously draw public attention to the negative impact of the Russian aggression on the Ukrainian traditions. Today, our two embassies, Polish and Ukrainian, together with our host, the Polish Institute of Union, jointly celebrate UNESCO's description of the Ukrainian Borscht cooking. It is an example of many joint efforts to support the Ukrainian state. We are here today to celebrate intentional cultural heritage celebrate that there is something which links us, Poles and Ukrainians, but which is open to the whole world. When people cook together, when people eat together, this creates a feeling of real community. It makes us feel that we belong to each other. In these hard times, since the Russian attack on Ukraine from 24 February, we feel this more than ever. And from this time on, we also experience how important it is to have friends, to be friends, and it feels right to live together in solidarity. This expresses our hope that soon, in the future, it will be possible to cook with the advice in freedom and security. It is my great pleasure to uh, introduce to you today uh, the situation and the history that happened in UNESCO several months ago, uh, especially um, at the 1st of July 2022, when the International Intergovernmental uh, Committee of Intangible Culture and Heritage decided to inscribe the culture of the Ukrainian borscht cooking into one of its lists. At, the, at this time, uh, this is the time of this inscription, uh, Poland was uh, part of the committee, we were the members among uh, several different countries, the members of the Intergovernmental Committee, who took this decision and uh, considered the culture of the Borscht book, uh, cooking as in need of the urgent safeguarding under the 2003 uh, UNESCO Convention are as follows. The most well-known is the representative list of the International Culture Heritage of Humanity. The second is the register of the good uh, safeguard. I believe that worship is something that shows the real identity of Ukraine. While investigating worship, one can investigate Ukraine. As it was already said, recently the worship was added to the UNESCO Endangered Heritage List. The victory in the war for Borsch is ours. Protection of Borsch is a real action of supporting Ukraine and an additional way to protect the existence of the Ukrainian nation. 
But the world recognizes Borsh, it recognizes the existence of Ukrainian astronomy. The whole Ukraine is united by the, by the culture of Borsh cooking. A person born in Ukrainian family consumes Borsh with mother's milk. The recipes of Borsh are handed over from generation to generation of every single family of every region of every part of Ukraine. Actually, there are more than 100 recipes of borscht. Every time, everyone who lives in Ukraine practices to cook borscht. Every family, every, every restaurant. And I am not an exception. My, my aim is to make this dish and not only this popular throughout the world. Since full-scale invasion, the 24th of February, I was thinking about my own contribution to my country. How can I help Ukraine? And I have created my special charity cooking class named Ukrainian Taste. Привет всем! Сегодня наше первое кулинарное занятие. И на мою думку, куда дорожно розпочати його приготування однією з найголовніших страв української кухні з незмінним символом нашої кулінарної культури та візитівкою кожного сторін. Я думаю, ви вже догадались, що це буде? Звичайно, це борщ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 